Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start the business of the day. As I said, we thank you and welcome you to the briefing. Mr. Acting President, it is my privilege and honor to invite you to do the presentation and speak to the media, but also to the nation. Over to you, DP. Uh, good day to you all, and thank you very much for coming to this press conference. The Mandela family, uh, together with the government and the Nelson Mandela Foundation, and uh, Madiba himself, would like to convey our appreciation for all those South Africans, as well as other people across the world who have sent their words of support to the family, well wishes for Madiba's speedy recovery, and their prayers. And to stand to you all as members of the Fourth Estate, the media, for conveying all these concerns and prayers to Madiba and his family, as well as the government. Madiba is well, the Surgeon General. VJ Ramulakan will give you a report on uh, his health from the point of view of uh, the professors who are looking after him. What I can convey is that he is receiving the best treatment from the best available health professionals in this country. And that should reassure all of us that uh, there is no need for us to panic. There is no need for us to uh, fear for Madiba's health. He is in good health. Uh, and, and all we say is that VJ uh, uh, Ramakan, the Surgeon General, uh, will give you the medical report and uh, that uh, from now onwards we will keep you posted if there's any developments uh, of whatever kind and that uh, we should uh, remain calm and, and uh, continue with our prayers and well wishes that uh, Madiba should uh, be with us to celebrate his 93rd birthday in July and beyond. Uh, with those words, thank you very much for your attendance. Over to you, DJ. <coughs> Since our Deputy President is the acting president and having assumed his seat, <laughs> um, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, there has been mounting concern about the health of our former president, Dr. Nelson Mandela. We wish to confirm that Dr. Mandela was admitted to Mill Park Hospital earlier this week and underwent a few specialized investigations. Given the medical history of our former president, his health over the last few years and his age, these tests are necessary in order to provide optimal health care to him. 
These tests have been carried out at various facilities over the years and are a normal part of his medical regimen. Such tests are considered routine for a patient of his profile. When the South African Military Health Service provides, sorry, whilst the South African Military Health Service provides a highly specialized medical service to current and former presidents, this is always done in consultation with other specialists, not only in the government sector, but also in the private sector. At present, Dr. Mandela is in high spirits and has been visited by his family and friends. Medically, at present, there is no need to panic. Dr. Mandela suffers from diseases common to people of his age, as well as conditions that have developed over the years for which he receives chronic medication. He recently developed an acute respiratory infection for which he received treatment and has responded very well. He is stable but will be monitored closely. We may recall that he suffered from tuberculosis whilst on Robben Island and has had previous respiratory tract infections. He is also not as mobile as before and over the last few years has had to be assisted with movement. Despite all of this, his amazing positive attitude allows him to cope with the difficulties of old age with the greatest of graces. At this stage, the medical panel is satisfied with his recovery and he will be discharged to receive home-based care at his home. I would like to emphasize the appeal from our acting president for all not to allow wild, irresponsible speculations and rumor mongering. In the immediate future, we will, if need be, issue a regular bulletin updating all. At the same time, we ask members of the media and all concerned to respect the rights of Dr. Mandela and his family, to privacy, doctor-patient confidentiality, dignity, and the need to nurse patients in an environment that promotes maximal healing. All patients deserve no less. On behalf of the South African National Defense Force, I would like to thank and acknowledge the following institutions and people, the NetCare facilities and personnel for the professional way in which they have managed the situation. Dr. R. Friedland, Dr. Michael Plitt, who treated Dr. Mandela and has been treating him for close on to 21 years. Dr. P. Williams, Dr. Gage James Slebert, and Professor P. Manga. Of course, in the military, our clinical team is headed by Dr. Stephen Kumati, who works under General Yagula. I thank all of you for this very positive outcome to his hospital stay. Okay, thank, thank you very much, uh, Sergeant General. We'll allocate about 15 minutes for questions, so randomly, Sergeant Sanchez.